neon dreams. It's been a busy, fun year. Um, we've done a lot of uh, music. We had a song, Love Experts, did really well. Put on a lot of remixes. Played a lot of shows. Um, it's just, it's, it was a action-packed, crazy year. It was exciting. You mentioned how you made some success with that song and your tours and everything. What's it mean for you as a Coast band to be getting such success and for the rest of those tours? I think it just allows us to you know, tap into a broader playing field. He's come to a beautiful place, but it's very isolated. If you look at music hubs in Canada, we have Montreal, we have Toronto. Yeah, so especially we're from Halifax, it's just far enough away from Montreal that not a, little, a ton comes that way. I mean, there's still a lot of things that happen as well. Um, to get the attention of an international artist just allows that lane for a broader um, audience. And I think that puts more attention on the East Coast. In turn, I think is good for everyone. What would most people be surprised about to like when you're performing with EDM, like what's the most surprising thing people look like? Yeah, this is all a lot like a rock show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a rock show. But I mean, still we, with the electronic roots. Yeah, we call it just internally calling it EDR electronic dance rock because it's elements. You know, these guys were a rock band before I was, you know, listening to hip hop, and so they were. It's kind of how it naturally progressed, and then also sort of like electronic music, and then we had. I was DJing and they all played instruments. We're like, hey. Mm -hmm. Also, not, not not a lot of people are really doing it the way that we're doing it. Like, you have, you have guys like Keys and Crates or like Pendulum and stuff like that. We're doing it with like different genres and we're really doing it with the main stage like EDM sound. And it, it just hasn't really be, been done with like like a full band, consistent vocalist like type of thing. It right. Really, it really feels like your classic thought of what a band is, but like with EDM. You know what I mean? We're the pop band of EDM. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's um, it's a natural. I think it's just really natural. It's just everybody's influences that uh, we listened to growing up was so different, but we somehow kind of all landed in a relatively similar area of what we like to listen to today. Necessarily, what we were listening to eight years ago was definitely not this, um, and I think that is what makes that easy for having those influences come together. It just feels natural. We did four dudes with very broad musical influence from very separate genres and we throw them all together in one genre that's kind of like yeah. And you shared the stage with like many big acts in the last couple of tours. But who was your main goal? Like the biggest person you want to tour with? Yeah. yeah. But I mean like you have to stay in the same like, like, are we talking festival here, or are we talking about? Are we talking like co-headlining tour or headlining? Just, 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 just artists headlining. Yeah. Okay. So, what was really yeah, I would, I would guess you would have national impression. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, if I was like, that's who. Yeah. Um. Yes. No, we're gonna co-headline a tour with Kanye. <laughs> you know, I, mean, like, I, I, would, I would say Blink Way too, just to see what happens. You know what I mean? Like, if I could, I would go headline a tour with. Uh, but so, something that makes sense, I'm trying to feel like that's fits. That's so, cool. someone like Harold, I'm or Ashley Grosso, or someone like that would be yeah. right. Even Coelho would be really cool. Calvin Harris, Calvin, yeah. Calvin, Calvin Harris. actually, Calvin Harris is probably that. Yeah. How this is the the Brighton Tour. Type right, right, type right. He's no store. DJ Jail. How's that tour going? Crazy. Awesome. It's awesome. It's fun. It's tight, right? Your bush party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cold, but it, it gets yeah, up inside. Coke check. <laughs> How did you come up with the name for that Um. Well, we I wanted people to wear tight and bright clothing, <laughs> <laughs> so we thought we named it tight and bright clothing. They would show up in tight and bright clothing. It works. But you all are wearing black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're going to change. Yeah, soundtrack. Yeah. Soundtrack We're going to do the interview with Tyler. Oh, man, I forgot it. Yeah. Yeah. So blame him. Blame me. Blame me. It's all the ball. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
are different. <laughs> yeah. um, it was definitely, there are definitely a really difference as far as like crowd reaction yeah. goes. Or yeah. I find East Coast is like, people are like, they're drinking, they're already having all this stuff like that. Ontario, they're really like, so what's this like? At yeah. First? And it takes like a minute for like them to like wean this point. I find out. I feel like mentally though, we're different outside of the East Coast. Yeah. Actually, yeah. The East Coast. Because it's like, you know, we've spent a lot of time here, so it's like, the comfort levels a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think that's what it would be for me. That would be the biggest difference for me is the comfort level. Um, East Coast, especially on the East Coast, like you know, we're very used to like, all these people now that just want to know who we are. Uh, sometimes we want to go, like we did a total down Webster uh, at the University of Florida in September, and most people are like, yeah. so all, kind of all fresh, fresh faces. So that's kind of cool too. And then you know what? I think the other thing too is that a lot of times we're coming on the East Coast. They're like medium drawn shows, so people are coming to respect a lot of drama. But sometimes, like, I mean, I'm just trying to think of like, one show that we did, and it was, uh, we did something down in Boston, and they're like, the, like the people there were respecting the medium event. You know, like, it was like, uh, maybe down in Webster, where they weren't expecting the medium event. Alright. And what would you think your biggest goal for 2016 was going to Um. I think the biggest thing with us, I think we, go, we have new music right now, but uh, is just a big radio push on the songs that we have. Um, the Worldwide touring. Yeah, a lot of touring and a lot of radio push on our new music. Uh, and we're yeah, working on the marketing side of that right now. Yeah. So I'd say that's, you know, looking into this first quarter of, of this year, I think that's pretty much, you know, the big focus. We're going to LA in February. We're going to be doing a lot of you know, other things and TV and film and all this type of stuff, so, um, but yeah, I'd say that's, those working right now, that's a big part of it. Getting our music. Yeah. 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 And our final question is, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? Love you. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> If we all hold our hands open, you guys on the other side can hug us. I'd also like to say, <laughs> DJJO 2020, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs>